Oh yes, I see it. Oh, yeah, here. I see it. It's over here. <laughs> oh! Here, yeah. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we are here on the boat. I know it's quite a different scenery here. We're here at a lake that's kind of close near to us. And then we are on the boat. So yesterday and then this morning, dad and the boys are getting the boat all ready. Here's John. I'm filming on the GoPro, so it's super nice. It feels so small, but it's super nice. So we're just pulling up here to the dock. And then we're gonna let it go in the water. So it's gonna be super fun. Today is like, how hot is it? It was like probably like mid 70s, mid, yeah. mid 70s You're not or going so. In. You'll have to no, bring yeah. them along when you go in. Yeah, them. yeah. I'll have to film again once it gets warmer, more into like summertime. I'll have to vlog again, like when I go like in the inner tube and all that. That'd be super fun. But the water's so pretty cold, so I think we're just gonna be on the boat. Luke and John might be getting in the water, but it's pretty cold. Dive it! We got blown away from the dock and none of us know how to drive it except for dad. <laughs> so we don't know how to start this thing up. So we're just floating around. We're going to go at the dock. <laughs> They're going to meet us over here at the other dock. We were over here on the other side right there. And then now we're like over here. <laughs> so we're just floating. We'll be good. We'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs>
We just recently got back from being on the boat. It is evening time. As you can see, the sun is going down. It is about 6, 6, 6.30 almost. So the sun's gonna go down here like very soon. So I'm out here, we have and done the chores. We just started making dinner. But it was a really fun day out on the boat. Next time I'm gonna wear my bathing suit to go on the water. I. I, looking back, I probably would have worn my bathing suit to go in the water, but the water was pretty cold. So maybe next time that we go, it'll probably be warmer. But it was still such a fun day. It was super fun. Say hi. He's getting so big. He's becoming a really good dog. He sit. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. He's sweet boy. He's so cute. Are you so cute? Yes, <laughs> he knows he's so cute. The chicks need some more food and water, so I'm gonna fill those both up. They're getting so big. They're still super small, but they're getting bigger. <laughs> they're all starting to feather out. Are you hungry? Yeah, you want some food? <laughs> this one has like feathers on its foot. I wonder, that must, that's not a Americana, because then all you see all the other Americanas don't have feathers on its feet. That must have been a different breed of chicken that was in with all the others. That's funny because the day that we picked up our chicks from Tractor Supply, they were all mixed together. And the guy at Tractor Supply, he barely even knew like which chick was which. You can kind of tell by their coloring, but they were like all mixed together. So it's kind of funny. So I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of them aren't even the breeds that we kind of picked out. But it's okay, as long as they lay eggs. <laughs> You're getting big. The leghorns are so pretty. Look at your face. Oh, she's like, let me go. Okay, there you go. There we go.
girls are excited to get a special treat. I got them some alfalfa cubes and then just some horse feed. It's just like these barley oats and then other good mineral stuff. Here you go. Oh yes. Oh, and they love that stuff. That's for sure. They're so good at sharing, so I just let them eat out of one bowl. Tomorrow I am going to Saddle Buck for the very first time, so I am interested to see how it will go. I think he is ready for the saddle. I started working with the tarp with him, so he walks over that really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and saddle him up tomorrow. So yeah, I just pray everything will go smoothly tomorrow when I saddle him up for the first time. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I think, oh, mosquito. All the mosquitoes are starting to come out. It's getting all warm and humid out here. It's getting all the bugs and all the mosquitoes. But yeah, I think tomorrow morning it's supposed to be raining a little bit, like scattered rain. So we'll see. I'm at the work in the afternoon. I think mom and I are going to go to the store in the morning to grab some groceries. But y'all, actually, when I worked Buck and when he was acting up that day, it was super muddy in here because it just rained like that morning and I worked him in the afternoon. So it was pretty muddy in here. So with him having the zoomies and just running and just being totally crazy, he did break a board. He broke that board right there. As you can see, he just like snapped it. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the flag. This is the flag I desensitized him with. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that up right there. So yeah, he broke the board. He did not get hurt. So thank the Lord he didn't like break his leg or something because oh, that would have been so terrible if he, that happened. So I'm thankful nothing happened like that. But yeah, when horses have bad days, like yesterday, like was one of those days where he just like had a bad day. It just like, your heart seriously almost sinks because it just feels like all your hard work that you put in to him, it was like a week and a half. I, all the work I put into him, it feels like it just like disappeared you know like it seriously felt like it just all disappeared like I feel I felt like I didn't do anything with them it felt like he was like wild all over again he was like being disrespectful just he didn't care anything about me being in there he just didn't want to have to do anything with me but near the end you know I think he came back so when he when they have to run I just let him run just let him run 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 I round pin him right there I change direction and I just move his feet to get him on the thinking side instead of his, the reactive side of his brain so at the end we got there but sometimes you just gotta let him go let him run circles and circles and circles around you but then like at the end he found me again he was like okay yeah here is where I can find comfort and all that so we finally got there at the end took time I think I was out here for two hours he was just running and he worked himself up he was dripping sweat he broke the board he actually ended up did slipping but it was a crazy day yesterday but today was a little bit better a little bit in the beginning it was quite jumpy but we got there again I think near the end he did calm down a lot I think we're getting back on the same track that we were on <laughs> we have a bad day it's just like almost all <laughs> but everything went back to how it was so I'm thankful for that. Wow, I think I just went off. I went on a rampage about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just get talking. But anyways, yeah, I'm excited to saddle him tomorrow. I'm super excited. I'm see how I'm really excited to see how you'll react to these the saddle and all that. So yeah, we'll see.
Oh, <laughs> see how you did.